Even though I've heard so many people confuse it with magnesium, manganese is one of the most important chemical elements and boasts some very interesting properties. Manganese is a hard and very brittle transition metal that's similar to iron or cobalt, and it's the twelfth most abundant element in the Earth's crust. It's remarkably easy to dissolve and oxidize, reacting with room temperature hydrochloric acid even more aggressively than aluminum, forming the salt manganese 2 chloride. Today I thought it would be fun to show you some of the different inorganic oxidation states of manganese I was able to make starting from elemental manganese. Manganese has more oxidation states than pretty much any other transition metal, and the first one I have here is manganese 2 chloride, which is a faintly pink salt and represents manganese in its plus 2 state. Manganese chloride is then easily oxidized by a variety of oxidizing agents to manganese dioxide, which represents its plus 4 state. Due to the metal's high reactivity, this only works well in neutral or alkaline solutions, so I use sodium hypochlorite bleach, which is stabilized with sodium hydroxide. Now this isn't the safest way to make manganese dioxide, but it is the fastest. And a safer way would be to add sodium hydroxide and then peroxide if you want to try this yourself. Manganese dioxide is a brown to black insoluble solid that's found in most batteries. It's used to deoxidize steel and it was used extensively by prehistoric humans both as one of the earliest known pigments and to help start fires. In the lab it's a really convenient source of chlorine gas, releasing a significant amount when it's dissolved in hydrochloric acid. Anyway, manganese dioxide can be further oxidized under alkaline conditions to the strongly violet colored permanganate ion, which represents manganese in its plus 7 state. This is done industrially using electrolysis, but once again, I'm using hypochlorite bleach. Permanganate is an extremely strong oxidizing agent, which will oxidize primary alcohols and aldehydes to carboxylic acids. It can even attack alkyl groups on benzene rings, producing benzoic acid from toluene, and allegedly producing phthalic anhydride from naphthalene. I've yet to try this myself, but it's on my to-do list. Permanganate is also one of the World Health Organization's essential medicines due to its use in treating various skin conditions. And it's used in survival kits as it can both sterilize water and burst into flame when mixed with antifreeze. Anyway, once most of the manganese dioxide has reacted to permanganate, I pass the mixture through a fritted funnel to remove any manganese dioxide that didn't react. The solution is sodium permanganate, which is the much more soluble cousin of potassium permanganate. When permanganate is mixed with a large excess of hydroxide, it's actually reduced to hypomanganate, which represents manganese in its plus 5 state. This is one of the rare examples of hydroxide acting as a reducing agent, and it's only possible because permanganate is such a strong oxidizer. Hypomanganate is a strong blue color, but it's highly unstable and will eventually oxidize to manganate, which is a green compound that represents manganese in its plus 6 state. This oxidation happens very quickly in strongly alkaline conditions, but if you dilute it somewhat, it can last a few hours. Here I have hypomanganate, manganate, and permanganate next to each other, so you can more easily see the color difference between the three. The final manganese oxidation state I can show without making this video an hour long is the plus 3 state seen most easily as manganese 3 acetate, which is a coordination complex. This can be made by adding a small amount of permanganate to a solution of manganese 2 acetate in excess acetic acid. This is a brown compound with similar structure to iron or chromium 3 acetate, and I only really know of it sometimes being used as an oxidizer. So yeah, here is every manganese oxidation state from plus 2 to plus 7. Manganate and hypomanganate are out of order here, as I was still somewhat unsure which was which when I was filming this. This uncertainty came from me just finding it odd that the plus 5 state formed before the plus 6 state when reducing permanganate, but it does seem to work that way with hypomanganate seeming to act as an unstable but entropically favored product. Anyway, I'm pretty sick of saying manganese, but before I go I wanted to show you something pretty cool. Here I've got a beaker of violet liquid from rinsing my fritted funnel earlier, and this mostly contains sodium permanganate. When you basify a solution of permanganate and add a small amount of a reducing sugar like glucose, you get a common lab demo called the chemical chameleon. Here upon the addition of glucose, permanganate is quickly reduced to hypomanganate which nearly instantly decomposes to manganate. This is then slowly reduced to a yellow suspension of manganese dioxide which, given enough time, will eventually precipitate. 
This is a far easier demonstration of redox chemistry than ones I've done in the past, like the vanadium rainbow or the chemical stoplight, but I do find those ones a lot more interesting. Anyway, I hope you found this interesting, and as always, I want to thank my wonderful patrons for their generous contributions. Your support is vital and very appreciated. To everyone else, if you would like to see more content like this, consider subscribing on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, or even by becoming a patron yourself. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.